What's up everybody? So I've been in San Francisco for a few days now and I'm finding the city like super expensive. Every restaurant I go in, it's like $3.75 for a piece of pizza and the sandwiches, they're even worse. They're like $10. And being from New York City, I never thought that there would be a city in the United States that would like get me like this. That would be like, what? That's, that's crazy that it's that expensive. But San Francisco has proven to be even more expensive for food than New York City. So today I'm on a mission, an absolute, an absolute challenge to get dollar meals across San Francisco. Let's go. Yeah. Now in New York we have dollar pizza, but in San Francisco they have dollar tacos and the place to get them every day during the week from 3 to 5 is Pancho Villa Taqueria. I'll get a uh, chorizo. How many? I just one. Yeah. Uh, what can I mean? Uh, can you do a mix of like pinto and black? Spicy mayo? Uh, spicy. For here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm here at Pancho Villa and there's really two things that, I don't know, that stand out. One is, of course, the, the taco. It's a beautiful taco. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's going to taste incredible. And the other one is that with every order, it doesn't matter if you order the dollar taco or a burrito or any size of an order, every order comes with a free chips and their award-winning salsa. So let's get to eating. Okay, first reaction, the spices on the taco are incredible. They definitely made it hot, which is burning in my mouth right now. Um, the mixture of like the tortilla, the carnitas, and also like the, the tomatoes on it, it just makes for a bombing flavor. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, so... Mm. So one thing that they do that is super cool with like the jalapenos is it looks like that they like roast them on the grill and it just makes for this like crazy spiciness flavor which I have in my mouth right now and also just like a like kind of like a barbecue flavor it's incredible It's like a creamy like tomatoey like very rich salsa it's really good This is the green salsa Mm, this one's not hot at all. It's like a cucumber and like lime based salsa. It's really good and also like really refreshing. Mm. The taco is over with. I really want to get another, but we have a lot more food on this dollar day day. On this dollar day day. As, I don't know. Let's go get the next dollar food. <laughs> It's uh, raised maple? Yeah. Okay, sure, let's get one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a massive dump. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Nah, it's like, it's for me and my girlfriend. So maybe oh, okay, so you guys, yeah, yeah, you'll finish it fine. Do you wow. need some knives or napkins to take with you, dude? Uh, napkins would be good. Yeah. It's a piece, man. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> hey babe, I brought a donut. Damn. It's enough for dinner too. <laughs> and how are you? What's up, All right, so it's my first time here. Nice. Um, would you I'm recommend anything? Yeah, or? Man, I would do a cake donut. A cake donut? Yeah, these are out when I got here. So. Wow. Yeah, those come in maple or chocolate. Ooh, okay. What would you suggest? I like the chocolate. All right, I'll go with one of the chocolate. Yeah, yeah that looks amazing. Oh, yeah. And then Thank if you're around, you, I would definitely recommend waiting for a hot one too. Yeah. Because we're starting soon. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm gonna wait then. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hot one. Uh, the night shift guys uh, filled this rack. Yeah. And it was gone by the time I got here. Really? So yeah. Um, and you guys sell like you must sell so many donuts. Yeah. Many donuts over over like three thousand. Three thousand a day. In a night, yeah. Holy. Yeah. You just have it cool down, okay? All right, so I'm here at Bob's Donuts, which is supposedly like the best donut of San Francisco. It's 125 for a donut, and it's open 24 hours a day. I got the cake chocolate donut. Mmm, it's so good. It's like you bite it into it, and it's like kind of like almost like a moist, like chocolatey, just cake like filling donut. I know that was a dollar challenge, but I have to get, I have to get another one. Which one do you want, man? Um, chocolate, right, so please. 
So I got chocolate before, so yeah. maybe, maybe just, that. what would you say, the glaze? Or I would maybe? do glaze. Yeah, yeah. Would life be changed, you think? Yes, that's my favorite one. Yeah? Right now, yeah. Thanks, dude. Okay, so the first batch was, it was from a batch that was made like a few hours ago. This is a donut that was literally just made in front of me. And I am so excited. Oh. Mm. Yeah, like, not even kidding. This is a top five donut that I have ever had. This was worth it. Going on. Yeah. Man, yeah, like I got here and there was no fresh donut. There was only the donuts over there. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to try one and like see if it's, you know, worth it. First bite I had, I was like, if this donut's amazing, the fresh one's going to be like ridiculous. Yeah. And like, just, oh my gosh. Like, I'm going to make like a food video just out of this donut. Like, oh, look at that glaze. Yeah, have what a good day. Doing, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was great talking to you too. Go to New York. Yeah, go to New York. Yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, yeah. dude. Bobby. It's, yeah, it's good Bobby. To meet you. Yeah. It was great meeting you. Yeah, like, for sure. That, that donut was like it was something on a new level. Uh, honestly, the best time to come is like late night. Okay. When we have a lot of variety. It's yeah. like we're we have one fryer, so only one type of donut comes out at a time. Right. So I love how it's like hand like yeah. carved, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's fun, man. Man. Yeah. 24 hours a day. 24 right? hours, so anytime, man. You're hungry. Man, Chris, <laughs> I will see you soon. Sounds good, dude. See you, man. I'll be around. Later. That was a fast train. <laughs> okay, so I'm back in Chinatown. My heart feels full. The surroundings look, they look quite familiar, but you know, my belly, it's, it's not really full right now. And to be honest, I don't really know San Francisco Chinatown all too well. And the only way to know Chinatown is really to either be a local or to ask a local. So I'm gonna try to find a local to kind of like ask what the best deal is in Chinatown. I, this is my first time in San Francisco Chinatown and I, I live in New York Chinatown. And like, I am obsessed with like the, like, do you know like uh, the Lup Chang Bao? Like, uh, or like the Dai Bao? Like, you oh. know, they, are there any like good, like... It's uh, some kind of a dim sum. Yeah, yeah, like a dim, yeah. Next door. Next door is good? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Is the pork bun good? Yeah. How yeah? Many Just pork? one. Yeah, it's good? Yeah, Just pork? pork? Okay, sorry. One thank you. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do when eating in Chinatown, or really just exploring Chinatown in general, is to find the Chinatown part. And now I have a free concert, a pork bun, and it's just time to enjoy life. Look at that! Mm. Mm. This pork bun is just like packed with pork. The sauce on it is amazing. The freshness of the dough is just like, it's out of this world. Thank you to the locals that I asked today for their recommendation. You hit it out of the park. That was, that was absolutely unreal. Now, the next category is actually a category that I haven't found food for yet in New York. And that category is fancy. So this is definitely the most fancy dollar place I have been to in all my adventures. There's dollar dumplings, dollar oysters, and they have like a bunch of just like three to like four dollar items during happy hour. It's, it's crazy. Okay, so I went with their butternut squash dumpling and oyster. For me, the draw of this dumpling is, of course, it's a dollar, but also it's, it's an incredibly interesting dumpling. Butternut squash, I've never had a butternut squash dumpling before. And the oyster is ultra cool because I'm in San Francisco and this is my first oyster of the trip. Mm. The sauce on this butternut squash dumpling is, it's incredible. It's creamy, it's delicate, it's like rich, it's just, it's wonderful. Now, in the dumpling, you can't really see it, but it's butternut squash, and combined with the curry, it's just, it's absolutely delicious. 
That was amazing. Now time for my first oyster ever in San Francisco. Okay, now oysters are not oysters are not like that pack in the punch like delicious like mm, like sound. But this oyster was like super fresh. Like it tasted it tasted a lot better than New York oysters for obvious reasons. But combined with like the fact that they put it on ice and also the cocktail sauce made this oyster a very good dollar oyster. Overall, EO Kitchen is an incredible choice for really anybody that's looking for a quick bite to having kind of like a fancy night out. Alright, so after eating all that dollar food, and if you're with your friends in San Francisco, there's only one thing that you can do from 6 to 6.30. It's to go to the taco shop and then get dollar margaritas. How are you doing? Are you over 21? First sip of dollar margaritas. Cheers, man. There's it's like a little bit like lemony. Brett's got like kind of the. Uh, it tastes like lemonade. It's very critical on this dollar margarita. Now something very important to note about these dollar margaritas is at the taco shop they're only available for 30 minutes on Fridays, a very very small window of time. So get here from 6 to 6:30. Yeah. From Dollar Tacos to Dollar Oysters, San Francisco truly offers a unique and incredible range of dollar meal food. However, San Francisco was, it was a bit tricky to find dollar meals. For this video, I did a video in New York about dollar meals, which you can see here. And it was, to be honest, a lot easier than San Francisco. But anyway, guys, I love doing these sort of videos. Like, I love showing that you can come to a city that you don't know, and you can find dollar meals. You can travel no matter what your situation, no matter what your circumstances are it's I love that but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to be speaking with you guys very very soon now let's go to Chinatown